with the uh, both sets of fans pouring out onto the streets after just 10 minutes of play. I don't think anyone's happy. Doesn't feel like a nice atmosphere around here at the moment. It's been a big couple of weeks of firsts on the channel. First Rangers game, first Celtic game, first game back with a full stadium, first game back with fans. Loads of stuff like that has happened over the past month or so. But today is the time for the first derby in a very, very long time. I couldn't tell you when my last local derby was, but I've had a lot of requests on Twitter and on Instagram and on YouTube to come to the Fife Derby. Rafe Rovers against Dunfermline. Should be a really, really good game and I'm absolutely buzzing for it. Scottish Championship, just look at the table really quickly. The table is very, very strange. There's loads of teams just on one point. So whatever happens today could mean quite a lot in the shifting in the table and stuff. So many teams are on one point. How strange is that after two games? Um, but yeah, just the way the championship is right now. But yes, there it is, Starks Park. Been here before once for a vlog. I kind of got inside, but I have not been for a game yet. So absolutely buzzing to see what tonight holds. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, I'll see you very shortly. So, Stefan, oh. buzzing for today? Oh, cannot wait. Fife Can Derby, what should I expect? I've never been here before as well. Uh, it's going to be electric. Yeah. Like, it's going to be unbelievable. You're going to enjoy it and it's going to be a really good game. What's the capacity of the stadium and how many people should be here tonight? Uh, the capacity is uh, around about 8,000. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And could you explain the rivalry between the two teams as well? Uh, it's a big rivalry. Yeah. It's like one of the biggest in Scotland. What do you think the score is going to be and do you think? Uh, well, I'm going for a 3 1 yeah. overs. Yeah. Nice one, mate. Enjoy the game. Legend. Cheers. Cheers. So, Jim, I've heard you're quite a famous face around here. No, one of, no, no, I'm, I'm not any better than anybody else. <laughs> one of Rafe Rovers' no biggest fans. I'm not any better than anybody else. We're all, every Rover supporter and every fuck it supports our team, they're, um, they're, all, they're all valued yeah. in Scotland and all. Okay? I totally understand. Oh, and how long have you been watching Rafe Rovers for? Well, it was when we played Cowboys, that was my 70, 71st year. Big derby today, of course, against Dunfermline. Oh, Is it always a big rivalry between the two teams? I, I suppose. Yeah. Well, I've got away for the hatred and. Yeah. I mean, um, I'm football is football. I knew that we're getting back to the football. All I'm wanting is to go to the football, one lose or draw. Just, just have a good time and enjoy the game. Uh, if we get beat, I'm just going to say we're only getting enough. Yeah. Only day. We didn't do enough to win. That's how yeah. I'm looking at football now. Amazing. Well, enjoy the game. It's been oh, great right, chatting to you. Done. Thanks so much, Jimmy. Cheers. Man. So Robert and James, thank you so much for uh, just chatting and just saying hello. You've seen a few of my videos before, but I'm finally here yeah. at Starks Park for tonight's San game. Starko. I know, yeah, San Starko, <laughs> that's right. Um, firstly, I've just been looking in the little, um, sort of, what is it, the little um, social club just there. Yeah. There's all pictures of like the Bayern Munich, the famous Bayern Munich game. Yeah. Do you remember that when you were younger? I wasn't there, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. but I certainly remember the, uh, the, the game yeah. taking place of that it was incredible times i mean it's quite surreal now thinking back on it yeah um, it seems like a complete lifetime ago but you know we seem to be seem to be building something quite good here yeah. again which is which is good and that was obviously the biggest moment in the club's history beating or going ahead against Bayern munich yeah, in the UEFA right. cup must have been unbelievable yeah i mean the story was the the halftime team talk was basically a laughter from jimmy <laughs> nichols saying go back out there look at the scoreboard just enjoy, and just enjoy yourself so. and talking about enjoying yourselves like i'm here tonight of course first ever game here yeah. five derby what should i expect from the atmosphere well you should expect it to be quite a quite a good atmosphere yeah. you know both sets of passionate fans um, yeah. obviously we're the better set of fans so. <laughs> <laughs> but no it should be it should be a good night and i think that it really just depends how the game goes but it'll be noisy love it guys And 
of Starks Park behind me. I could not be more buzzing for today's match. And a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Footballogy, for sponsoring this video. It is the handiest tool for football fans out there for tracking the amount of games you've been to. And I'm going to show you one of the features just now. And as you can see on screen just now, there is a feature called Nearby Fixtures. And you can go on a map view. And look, it's a Friday night, so there's not too many on today. But as you can see, there is one there, Boness Athletic against Bathgate Thistle. But the big one today is here. Starks Park, Dunfermline against Rafe Rovers. And um, yeah, here it is. I'm going to this match today and I could not be more buzzing. And I'll be using Footballogy to track all the games that I go to this season. And yeah, it's gonna be such a handy tool for me to find out how many games I've been to. Obviously today will be my first ever match here at Starks Park. But if we just have a quick look at my grounds from when I first started watching matches in Scotland, as you can see, my top two stadiums are Kelty, which is um, yeah in Fife, again, not far from where I am now, and Broadwood Stadium, which is uh, in Cumbernauld. I've also been to the CNG System Stadium, Dumbarton, Ockleview a couple of times, Celtic Park now, and Ibrox is on there and Hamden Park, but look how many other grounds I've been to, from Slovakia to the Netherlands, to Portugal, to Greece, to Australia, to England, to Scotland. I've been to loads of grounds, and I'm gonna be using Footballogy to track the amount of grounds I go to this season as well. And I can't wait to look back in years to come and see how many I've been to. It really is an amazing app for tracking the amount of games that you go to and stadiums that you visited. And there's so many cool features, like the map feature where you can find games in your area for that very day or the next couple of days. So you can plan your football matches that you wanna to go to. It's a great app. It's completely free to download. They've been good enough to come on and start supporting my videos. Without them, these videos may not be able to happen. So do support them by downloading the app. Thank you very much. Something's happening here. They might be calling it off and we have no idea why. We ain't got a clue what's going on. Game's been called off. The game's been called off.
still. Then get my money back. Loved all 17 minutes of it. So the clock up there, which is still running, says 23 minutes. Apparently there's a power cut, and that's why the game can't carry on. But look how amazing these fans were. That would have been unbelievable if a goal would have been scored and stuff. But like top group of lads I was with, but cannot believe that. So look, as you can see, the floodlights are still on. But it is like within up there and through here where there's no power. So for safety reasons, the game cannot continue because they won't be able to see the fans and all that, I suppose. So we're going home. Jesus, with the uh, both sets of fans pouring out onto the streets after just 10 minutes of play, I don't think anyone's happy. Doesn't feel like a nice atmosphere around here at the moment. Sirens, police vans, a lot of police presence. It uh, could turn a bit ugly around here tonight, I reckon. Jesus. Right, and the atmosphere is looking a little bit grim out there. Everyone's raging that the game's been called off, and there's a big rivalry between the two teams as well. There's a lot of police. Look, hang on, hang on, watch this. There's some geezer running off down there. Cops are chasing him. She's not catching anyone. There is, um, yeah, an awful atmosphere around Kakordi just now. I'm getting out of here. Um, yeah, I hope this video is long enough to upload. The fans were fantastic. They really, really were. Um, I absolutely loved the fans, but um, yeah, shame we didn't see much of them. Videos on screen. Please do click on one to carry on watching. Thank you so much. Here are the scenes at Kakordi. Uh, I hope it dies down a bit. Cheers. See you later.